But what I got is I will outwork you. When you get to winning, for me, it's come down to maxing out. And what maxing out means is you do one more at least than you think you're capable of. So when you're done, whatever you're doing, whether it's at the gym or phone calls, I accepted a long time ago, I wasn't the smartest, the best looking, the fast enough, with the best background, the most connections. I didn't have any of those things. What I could control was my work ethic. I think for the most part, gifted people struggle in life because things come easy to them. I like that things haven't come easy for me in my life. And maybe you like that about you too. Maybe you've looked at yourself all your life and thought, man, I don't have that natural beauty or that natural talent or intellect or humor. I don't have any of those things. But what I got is I will outwork you. When you get to winning, for me, it's come down to maxing out. And what maxing out means is you do one more at least than you think you're capable of. So when you're done, whatever you're doing, whether it's at the gym or phone calls or meetings or in sports, one more shot, one more throw, one more swing of the golf club or the baseball bat, the separator is for the winners, they do one more. And I'm the kind of guy that I know when you do 45 minutes on the treadmill and I do 46, I deserve to be fitter. I know that when I'm lifting weights and I watch you do five sets of 10 and every single time I do one more. When it's supposed to be an eight hour work day, I work nine. Whatever it is, I always do one more. And what that does is it makes me eventually think I'm doing things other people aren't willing to do. So I should get things other people aren't gonna get. That's the separator. If you're someone who's always doing things other people aren't willing to do, you always max out, you always go to the next level. You convince yourself you deserve to win. You can take low self-esteem, low identity, low confidence and change it over time by building this habitual addiction to doing one more, this obsession of one more. All the greats do one more and all the average don't. Other people are going to get slowed down. Other people are going to take a break. Other people are going to flinch. Other people are going to cool it. Other people are going to believe they've made it. Or maybe some people are going to believe they can't make it. But you're going to be relentless. You're going to be repetitious. You may not be the fastest. You may not be the smartest. You may not be the strongest. You may not be the most beautiful. You may not have the most articulate thoughts and ideas in the world. But what you got is one more. And when they get weak, you just keep company. When they flinch, you blow their doors off. That's how you win in life, because you keep getting after it and keep getting after it until the job gets done. So a lot of people are going to be excited for a day. They can be excited for a month. But the winners, they stay excited as long as it takes to get the job done. You're going to knock down whatever that rock is that's been between you and your dream. You're going to be relentless. You're not going to give in. And you know long term, all these other people, they're going to flinch, they're going to get weak, and you won't. You can't control all the exterior things in your life, people's attitudes, how they treat you. But you can control this. You can always make the next phone call, always do one more meeting, always do one more, always, always, always. And I promise you, you will knock down that rock that's in between you and your dream and make them come true.